three, two, one. Here we go. From the get go, you get an idea as to what is going on here. So the cork lid symbolizes what kind of fragrance we're talking about. It is a boozy perfume. To my nose, it opens up to a wonderful honeyed whiskey. It's instantly sexy. It's instantly alluring. I'm gonna say that if you like gourmand fragrances, this, in my opinion, is one of the greatest perfumes out there. On the dry down, it goes into a, like a, a woody, floral, honey, sweet note in there, but it's not sickly. It doesn't get too ahead of itself. Sometimes I find that some gourmands are heavy with the fruits and the vanillas and things of that nature. Whereas here, you're still getting a little bit of a balance of the woods. It's sort of bringing it down. I even think, and again, Alessandro Galtieri does not release these notes, but there's almost like an, a slight, sometimes I'm like, ooh, did I just smell like an oud sort of uh, note in there? There's definitely rose. So to my nose, rose note coming through. I find that this fragrance lasts for eight hours on me and its sillage is moderate. It's actually, a, it's a very comfortable moderate. Naso Mato can be challenging, all right? So as you, I'll, I'll put a link here. So I first came across the Naso Mato range back in 2017. Uh, my first experience, and I really struggled. I mean, the, the, the lady was very kind when she showed me all these different, uh, the different lineup. Um, I don't think I actually had a chance to, to test this one here. Uh, or maybe I did, but I, I was just by that stage, I was cooked. I'm like, no, no, no I'm out. Um, I can't do these. Of his whole Nasomato lineup, this for me is instant love. I'd be surprised, and I'm yet to find someone that when I spray, that they go, mm, not for me. Thank you everyone. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.